Hey you guys, I did a video last night and, or I'm sorry, a community post and I showed, I showed this picture, I think it was this one or, or it was this picture. And this was, um, you know, I'm in central Florida, brothers and sisters, but there was some of you or one or a couple I can't exactly remember that said that you've been seeing um, this same thing. And what this is, brothers and sisters, this darkness where I was at was so thick. It was so thick and it was just like. It was not of this world, OK, and some of you have said that you've been seeing the same thing, OK, now. What I want to share with you, you guys, when I did the video yesterday, okay, and I talked about this woman, uh, her last name is Avile, and she broke into Robert De Niro's house, okay, and I read in Joel chapter two, remember what Joel says, blow uh, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people and and a strong there hath not been ever like neither shall there be any more after even to the years of many generations now here where it says they shall run to and fro in the city they shall run upon the wall they shall climb into houses they shall enter in at the windows like a thief the re because Joel 2 has broken forth and is manifesting, that is what drove this woman, this woman. And I think they said that she was breaking into many houses around this same area. OK, but you know where it says the earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble. This is the heavens trembling right here. This is dark energy and dark matter. Brothers and sisters, the reason why the ground has been shaking a lot is because it's breaking open the caverns where these evil spirits and these demons reside. That's what's happening right now. That's as the as the volcanoes and the earth breaks open, that's what's letting forth these spirits, this army of Joel chapter 2. I'm going to show you what the Lord, what the Holy Spirit showed me last night about this. But brothers and sisters, I, I assure you, um, well, you know, when it well, when it talks about them breaking into the houses and entering the windows, what it's talking about is these demons, these evil spirits, evil powers are going into people's eye gates there. That's the windows of the house, the house in the spirit that's the temp that's somebody's body the windows the doors those are the eye gates the ear gates the nose gates the touch gates and what this is saying is that these evil spirits and powers are going into people's temples and that in turn is going to increase the sin and the evil people are going to be killing more people are going to be persecuting the uh, uh believers god's people more Brothers and sisters, there's no, there has not been uh, more cases than now of people chopping up little children. Remember when it says they da in the scriptures, they dashed the children, the infants to pieces. That's because these spirits, brothers and sisters, people think that, oh, when that is fulfilled, you know, you're not going to be able to walk outside. Brothers and sisters, this is operating in the spirit right now, and people don't see it. People don't see it. And that's, so when I was talking about this yesterday and showing, even this woman, her name is Avile. Do you know, Avile means to abase or debase, to vilify, to depreciate. That's what her name means. Because that's what this is, brothers and sisters. This is the spirit that is operate that is hosting in her body. And they're entering in people's temples. And this, brothers and sisters, after this, after this right here, 
the world is never the world is not going to be the same this is going to fill the world up with so much iniquity and evil but brothers and sisters remember keep your eyes keep your heart and your mind I have to blow the trumpet in Zion. That's what I'm called to do. But remember, brothers and sisters, just as this darkness is happening, so is the light and the glory of Christ. The Father of lights is lavishing upon his children who are preparing themselves, who are truly his, to receive a mightier portion and power of the Holy Spirit to counter this darkness. But brothers and sisters, I promise you, I promise you, that's what this is. This is a darkness. That is from another world. This is from another realm. This is from another realm. And it's no coincidence that yesterday we were talking about in, in our last video that we did with Sister Lena, that we were talking about Joel chapter 2. The reason why we've been having so much earthquakes is because it's breaking open those caverns. The heavens are falling down. That's what all this water, all this water, um, water molecules, brothers and sisters, this thick darkness, fog like it's what it is, is it's dark matter. And if people many, much of the time, if people are not sealed, and this is in the air, they breathe it into their temples, they breathe it into their body, and that dark matter starts to work. And that moves them to do evil that moves them to do violence, to do fornication, to do killing, to persecute those with the spirit of Christ. And that's what this is, brothers and sisters. Now, I'm going to show you what the Lord showed me about, about this as I was praying, brothers and sisters. He led me to Jubilees because I have a book that has all these um, or uh, many of the scripture books of the Bible in them. He led them to Jubilees 20 or Jubilees 7. And remember, brothers and sisters, what it says in the Gospels, as in the days of Noah. And look what the Lord led to me. Noah began to enjoin upon his sons the ordinances and commandments and all the judgments that he knew and to exhort his sons to observe righteousness and to cover the shame of their flesh, flesh and bless their creator like we're doing today, brothers and sisters, and honor their father and mother and love their neighbor and guard their souls from fornication and uncleanness and all iniquity. That's what we are doing today, brothers and sisters. This is the same thing that was happening then is happening now for owing. For owing to these three things came the flood upon the earth. That's what this flood is, brothers and sisters. Namely, owing the f owing to the fornication wherein the watchers against the law of their ordinances went went a whoring after the daughters of men and took for themselves wives and whom they chose and they be and made the beginning of uncleanness. This is what I landed on last night. And they begat sons, the Nephidim, and they were all unlike, and they devoured one another. And the giants slew the Nephilim, and the Nephilim slew the Elho, and the Elho mankind, and every man one another. And everyone sold, this is what I landed on actually, 23. And everyone sold himself to work of iniquity and to shed much blood, and the earth was filled with iniquity. The way that that's coming into our realm, brothers and sisters, is that this is the manifestation of that realm now operating in our physical realm and working in the hearts of mankind. These demons and evil spirits, when it says in Revelation, woe ye Babylon, you have become a haunt of devils and every foul and unclean spirit. That's what this is, brothers and sisters. So I want to tell you and... Brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you just like it says in Joel chapter 2. Okay. Therefore also now, saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. And rend your hearts and not your garments, and turn to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of greatness, and repenteth him, uh, repenteth him of the evil. So return, brothers and sisters, I'm blowing the trumpet in Zion. I'm telling, I'm encouraging all of us to fast, to seek the Lord with all of our heart, mind, and strength, to prepare, call upon the Lord and prepare your temples with fasting and prayer that he increase in you the power of the Holy Spirit so that you can be a light shining ever so brightly in this world of darkness. Because brothers and sisters, 
do not be deceived, okay? Do not be deceived. They are here. The Joel chapter 2 army, these evil armies are here. The spirits of the demons and the Nephilim and the Raphaim, they are here in the physical realm. But the glory of God, the power of Christ is greater, brothers and sisters, and you can have it if you seek him with all of your heart, mind, and strength and prepare yourselves. I love you guys. God bless each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, amen.